for the first time in here. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's how you start a morning right there. Hello well, guys, good morning. It is day 18 and as you can tell by the windows, it's a bit we got frosty. a little frosty last night. I can't see anything out of them. Probably should have woke up a little bit earlier and fired up the truck, but that's right. Uh, we're out here in a spot we did really good in Nevada last year, kind of doing some exploring and uh, see how we do this year. We're going to get kind of a late start because it's frosty. You still got 20 minutes of angle. Maybe. All right, guys, we're going to drop Garrett. I guess I just did drop Garrett for a drop stand. Um, we were out in this country last year and did really well. But we pulled down into this valley here. We ended up seeing 10 coyotes before we even pulled the trigger. It's just so flat out here and there are coyotes everywhere. So I just dropped Garrett. I'm gonna run back up the road here and hang out for a little bit. I might make a stand myself. And uh, if I can find a place to hide the truck anyway, and then I'll go get him here in just a little bit and see what happens. So. Uh, footage might be a little bit different. I'm gonna have Garrett kind of film with the scope vision and uh, just because this country's so flat. But uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be the most effective way to hunt this country. And then when Luke gets out here in a couple days, we'll be doing a lot of drop stands too. I didn't notice it till I was editing, but look how much pivot Garrett has in this bipod. He's following this coyote forever before he has to pick it up. Love those freaking swagger bipods. Well guys, drop stand does it again. I couldn't have just barely got parked and I heard one barking and I'm guessing, was yours pretty quick? No. Oh really? I shot him 16 minutes in. Really? Yeah. Dang. Yeah, because I heard one barking as soon as I parked up there. Was he up by you though? Yeah, like a quarter mile from yeah, me. Yeah, I could hear him. Yeah. No, he was like, this guy was trying everything he could to get the wind, man. He come out on that ridge, I lost him come up right here and end up shooting them out there. Nice. Heck yeah. Nice work. Yeah, I don't think you and I have ever done a drop stand that hasn't worked. We have, it's rare. Well guys, I totally did not get these ones on video. They came kind of back door and it took me forever to even find those things coming through the sage. And by the time I did, Garrett had already shot. My bad. Good thing we had the scope vision on. Definitely not our best work on the scope vision here. Must have bumped it a little bit or had it on a little crooked once we started. That's right, you still get to see the shot. Two of them. Dude, you got that. No way. Well, guys, that one was a little bit of a track job, but we found him. We'd go. We made about 200 yards from where we got him. Uh, number two for the day. Well, that's crazy, guys. I'm walking back to the truck and uh, sick ass old bird right here. It's not doing well. I don't know if I should put it out of its misery, leave it alone, or what. It's definitely got some issues though. Don't know exactly what's wrong with it, but it's on its last leg. 
Well, I think I'll just leave it alone. Let it uh, finish off what's left of its life. So you guys will have to excuse the smear marks on the lens there. I don't know what I got on there, but anyway, I didn't notice it until I went to go edit the video, so apologies for whatever kind of probably coffee or Mountain Ops Ignite I have spilled on my lens. No, you got him. What? I thought for sure Garrett got him. Watching in the screen, he just disappeared, but he ran off. Up yeah, not a bad coyote. He looked a lot bigger than I thought he was when yeah, he was coming in. The... Oh yeah, that ain't bad. I'm gonna spend more time walking around looking for these Gosh, damn things and stuff. <laughs> 73, number three on the morning. Heck yeah. Had another one come in, but complete opposite direction after the shot. Shot kind of scared him. But maybe when we head out of here, we might be able to turn him up. Let's Hopefully see. he'll be down there just hanging out with the cows. Well, we'll take now, when that. When I first saw him, I'd say he was probably five or six hundred out. Just kind of coming through the yellow grass on that same line that... Four for the morning. I'll take, dude, that's awesome. Can't complain about that. Yeah, I'm not going to complain at all. Not one bit. Let's go for seven today. I'll be happy with our five, but I'll go for whatever. I saw this coyote pop up right on the ridge over there and for some reason I knew we just weren't going to get this one killed. Just how thick the bottom of this draw was, I just knew there was no way this was going to happen. This is one of those stands that normally we probably wouldn't even make, but we were kind of running out of country and didn't want to have to drive to the next valley, so we made it anyway.
That right there, guys, is why we almost always stop them. The only reason we didn't on this one is that coyote was in that weird transition range where a shotgun's too far and you're probably not going to get it hit with a rifle and he's going to see you move if you switch to the shotgun. It's a thing that just happens and it's horrible when it does, but man, it sucks when they get caught in that transition range. Should have just shotgunned him. Huh? Guarantee I shot behind him on that second one. Yep. Gosh, should've, damn it. Should have just shotgunned him. I should have. I was afraid to switch though. Oh. I was already had the rifle up. So I didn't think. I thought he was gonna come out here and use the wind. Oh, I, down here. I didn't think he was gonna come through here. You'd think we'd have learned our lesson after the last one, not making stands in the thick stuff like this. But like I said, guys, we were kind of just running out of country and had to make do with what we had. Talk about deja vu, about one sequence later, here comes another one. I was pretty sure I was on that coyote when he shot, but apparently I wasn't. As soon as that coyote stopped, I had no idea where he went. Hell yeah. Take a double. I won't lie, I was getting like kind of bored after that afternoon crash. Yeah. Like that we never get coyotes coming in from, like you said, like noon to three. And what is it, 340 right now, something like that? Utah, it's like 240 Nevada time. But... That's freaking, dude, that first one looked like a furred up butterball. He did. That second one, had you not said same spot? I don't know. Did you see him moving? Yeah, I saw I him come. Saw him I just panned over and I saw his head. Was he standing broadside or facing? I, all I had was the top of his neck and head. Yeah. That was it. Dude, that, that's a big coyote. Yeah, dude. Another freaking fatty, dude. Yeah. That pretty. He's no 44 pounder, but. Good male, though. That's still a. That's a pretty good sized that's coyote. A good coyote. Big old pretty, that's the first one. Yeah, it's pretty, it came down literally probably the exact same path. Yeah. They're not a bad sized coyote either. Yeah, not near as big as that other one, but still pretty good sized. Guarantee it's an older female. Nope, male. Another male? Two male. Both big. Yeah. Well, let's get a picture of that double. Yeah, for sure. Well guys, as hard as it was to get those coyotes killed in that thick stuff in that wash bottom, they were everywhere in it. We ended up working our way down the wash another couple miles and called in another one on this stand, but he just didn't want to commit. We ended up never getting a shot, but all in all, it was a pretty good day. What's up guys, it's a wrap on day 18. Finally made it back out here to some of our spots in Nevada that we've hunted a little bit last year. Still trying to get to learn this country a little bit, but had another great day. We put six in the truck today, should have been seven, could have been eight. But I won't blame Micah, so I don't know who to blame, but... It wasn't me. It, it wasn't Micah. That's like I said, I won't blame him, but... Uh, no, great day, guys. Uh, rolling along, we're at 76 coyotes right now. And, and we've still got four or five days we can spend out here. So we're really hopeful that if things go right, weather co cooperates, um, that we'll, we'll be flirting with that 100 mark by the time we leave here. So thank you guys for your support, watching all these videos, tuning into the series daily. We're trying to comment and get back to you guys as much as we can, but try to understand we're out of service a lot of the time. Like right now, we, ha we haven't had service for a couple of days out here. Also, check out our store at hiddeninstinct.net. Anything you purchase on the store during this time is gonna help keep us out in the field, keep us going with this coyote tour and then we're going to be donating 10% back to charity. Also, if you have any questions about any of the companies that we work with that, are, that have helped us 
along with this tour anything we use out here everything helps us guys so if you got any questions about the partners check out our website as well uh, we've got a page there it's a partners page shows you everybody that we work with and can't thank them enough for their support and can't thank you guys enough for your support and we will see you guys tomorrow day 19